Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. I'm Lee from the craftyspark.co.uk and today I thought I'd show you something a little bit different. Now as you know, because you're watching, I do some videos. I like to do videos to show you how to do things, how to make things, um, what's going on in the world. <laughs> what's going on in my world anyway <laughs> so I thought today I would show you how I actually do my videos because I know there's actually quite a lot of demonstrators that would like to do videos but don't know how to do it there's also a lot of people who are just hobby people and want to make videos but again, aren't too sure how to do it. So today I thought I'd show you my setup, which is what you're looking at right now, obviously. Now, um, just to explain a little bit, I've had to close the blinds because the very, very best light to film in is natural daylight. And it's quite a sunny day today and my desk faces the window so I get quite a lot of light over my desk, which is great for filming and great for working, but not great when you've actually got a camera pointed at it and you're trying to film. So we have lights on, we have blinds closed, so that you can see what's going on. Now, if I just move in a little bit, I can show you what I do. First of all, I film on my phone. Now, I know that might sound a bit strange to some people because it's like, oh my goodness, you can't film on a phone, you have to film on a camera. But if you have an iPhone or if you have a very up-to-date Android phone that's got a really good camera on it, filming on your phone is absolutely perfect. Not only does it sit above your desk really nicely as you can see but the film quality is really good now the same could apply if you've got an iPad there's no reason why you can't film on your iPad as long as you've got a really good camera okay now there was some talk a while ago to say well you don't really need a good camera all you need is to be able to see what's going on that's not strictly true if you don't have a good camera you're not going to be able to produce a good quality film and if you haven't produced a good quality film people aren't going to want to watch it are they quite simple really i mean if you put someone's video on youtube and it's a very very fuzzy picture what's the first thing you do switch it off move on <laughs> so <laughs> rather than having people switch off and move on why not make sure you're filming on something good quality. I also, when I film my iPhone, because it's an iPhone, naturally films in HD, but if you've got a camera like the one I'm filming on now, for example, that has different settings, put it onto a higher setting so that you actually get a good quality picture. Because when your camera's pointing down like that onto what you're filming, if you haven't got a decent picture, Nobody can see, can they? And it gets really annoying because you can't see what's going on. So, first things first. Decent camera, decent phone, film on that. Now, I've got to try and do this one-handed and hold the camera and not break my phone because it's just clipped in to this little contraption. It's just a cheap bracket I bought off eBay. You can get them off Amazon as well for a couple of pounds not expensive and all this one does it just pulls out to adjust to the size so obviously if you're using an iPad you need to make sure you've got one big enough but I was always suggest putting it on a tripod I need to move back again you can see my tripod there you go because you can get things like gorilla holders and you can get arms that attach to things but as you're filming, if you don't have something sturdy enough, your camera very slowly starts to do this. Now, if you're very intent on filming, 
you're not necessarily going to notice that all of a sudden you're not filming what you want to be filming and you end up filming something completely ridiculous so get yourself a tripod again doesn't need to be a mega expensive one but it does need to be one where you can turn it upside down now I'm just going to stop the video here because I'm going to turn my tripod up the right way so that you can see what I'm actually talking about okay hang on right now this is what your tripod will ordinarily look like isn't it yeah so that's where your camera goes actually let me put it on the floor no I won't you won't be able to see it on the floor I'll leave it out there oops <laughs> that's where your camera goes and then panning down the, the tripod <laughs> that's where the legs go now this particular one that I have is Amazon Basics so nothing exciting nothing too technical just a standard tripod with an attachment on the top now let's see if I can actually whoops balance this and then you'll be able to see what I do with it because there we go so there's the tripod so I release the legs and turn them up whoopsie daisy the other way somehow <laughs> I do do it honestly Right, just had to stop start again then again because I couldn't get my tripod back up the other way <laughs> but basically all I did was these legs see they're on this hinge here it just swivels round so that the leg it goes right the way up and whoops you get a tripod standing up the right way or you turn it upside down swivel your legs over and then it can sit with your bracket underneath to put your camera on easy peasy lemon squeezy now the other thing I want to show you is how I when I'm doing my filming whoops oh dear just knocked the bin over sorry about that right I always use these grid mats now this is actually one of the stamping up paper grids oh my goodness they are a lifesaver. Let me just swivel a light round so you can see it a bit better. They're brilliant. They have got inches on one side, and then if you turn it over, centimeters on the other side. So double sided, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can still use them. But what I tend to do is I tend to center my camera above my grid map like that, because that's the view that you usually see, isn't it, when I'm filming. So I centre my camera over the grid map so that I know as long as I'm staying on that grid map you're going to be able to see what I'm showing you. If I go off the grid map then no you won't. So I just make sure you can see everything on my grid map and that is where I film. On my desk, in front of the window, natural sunlight, with an upside down tripod, with my phone, over my grid map. <laughs> well now I hope you enjoyed that that could have either that could have gone two ways that could have been the most boring film you've ever watched or it could be one that you find really useful hopefully it's one that you find useful hopefully it will help you if you want to do your own filming as well I know it's going to help my team because my team are going to be starting to do their videos soon and you'll be able to see all the lovely creations they make actually on video which is going to be really excited and exciting I'm really really looking forward to seeing them but this film is for them as well so that they know how to do their videos and also for anybody else who wants to have a play and do your own videos too now I'm sure there's going to be lots of people saying well I don't do mine like that and oh no you shouldn't do it like that I, I'm not a professional okay this is just what I do 
if you find a better way fantastic please share it so we can all learn if this helps you that's fantastic too I'm really really pleased and I really hope it does help because I know it can be a very scary thing when you first start filming goodness if I think my first video I wouldn't even talk on it but it's okay you get used to it and it's actually quite good fun as well I always have a little bit of a giggle when I'm doing my videos especially if I do something wrong which is quite standard but hey don't we all <laughs> so I'm going to love you and leave you now and say goodbye and if I can help in any other ways or, or even if there's any other way any other videos that you'd like me to do please just say I'm always open to suggestion but take care and I'll see you again soon bye for now